ethical environmental education, teaching through the arts, what matters, do you know that song? If you're not, then you haven't visited my website. Today we're talking about stick figures. Stick figures are having all, they have all kind of shapes. And I'm going to show you how to draw some stick figures. Let's go up here a little bit and see all those pretty cool guys, what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, they stretch and have different shapes. All right, so let's, uh, let's start drawing. Let's check out the art materials I have here. Here, uh, we have pencil, pen, color, it doesn't matter. Good news for you, what you use. All we try to do is doing a line. Therefore, it doesn't really matter what we use. I will use a pen because it's a little darker on the screen and you can better see it. All right, okay, let me go beside. There you go. So, stick figures. First of all, if you never drew stick figures, just draw them like this, maybe at the beginning, right? Or make them make them sit down a little bit and have them having coffee or so, right? Have them do different kind of things, or even. Looking in the distance, stick figure. Okay. You can do all that. Let's give him a little bit of movement. Let's say he wants to run or anything like that. Hmm. Let's do this super exaggerated kind of run, which I really like. Yeah. He's like totally blasting some floor here. Right, and you see the forms, I kept the form, the same thing. You you can also, of course, draw just like that. Stick figures. Stick figures, they don't necessarily have to have a certain kind of approach. What, however you draw them, a lot of people draw them actually like this. Yeah, see that? That's so just a line, right? But here, when we look at this one here, they're shapes and squares and trigons, and we mix them up. So let's mix some more up here on this one. I'm gonna use different shapes now. Let's say we use a square, right? And he's like flexing his muscles. Right? Depending on the character, that depends on what kind of shape you use. So this is a strong guy, obviously, right? If I make a not so strong dude, let's check this out, how we do that. Give him a little bit of underbite. Shoulders pretty much up. Low self-esteem. Shoulders up and a little bit shy playing with whatever he has in his hands. Nowadays, they play with their phone. Uh, yeah, even hat even here. Check this out. A little hat, right? So as you see, you can freely choose different shapes. Strong guy. Here we have a normal kind of dude. Normal kind of dude down here. We have a normal kind of dude as well. And that's very simple. So there's no really right or wrong. We can just go with it. So let's draw some more, guys. Mm. Let's draw some girls. Girls, I use uh, round shapes. Yeah, that's... Girls, sometimes they have those little things there that indicate that they're girls. They could indicate also, yeah, that they have makeup on, make lips here. She has a bag she carries with. All I think about here is shapes. Shapes, yeah. Mm, she, what does she do? Yes, she has a kind of like a phone in her hand. You see, I don't really draw details much. I just go over it and like here, I didn't draw a hand. I can show you how a pro, kind of proper-ish, more detail-oriented hand could look like. 
like this. See here the hand, the hand, the fingers and the arm goes down, right? So I don't even draw the palm here. Just the, just the fingers, right? That's why it's called stick figures, right? Okay, let's draw something else. What should we draw? Let's draw some interaction. Um, let's draw two dudes. Interaction is hard because you have to kind of draw him angry. He's pointing the finger, has his arm there, and yells at yells at uh, another dude. Let's say he's like eyebrows up. He's just listening. You don't want to give him a hat. How is that? Some silly kind of hat. Uh, get get some floor going here. Glad I took that line here. Sometimes they you that's something people do that they don't really draw on one horizon. And yeah, he's, he's mad, right? Interaction is hard. If that's still too hard for you, stick on just designing different shapes. Let's draw something more with squares. Uh, or tri triangles is better. Let's draw a little kind of girly kind of thing. Okay, I got here. We give her a hat again. Maybe some earrings. Like that. Yay, she just stands there, right? I do this on purpose, not really fancy. So that you can just practice and flow. Later we make some fancier stuff. Let's do that, let's let that girl walk or run. Always when you do that kind of profile kind of thing, front kind of thing, I mean, then uh, make some interaction. Let's, let's, let her, let's let her hold an umbrella, okay? So let's see, the next one here. Draw right beside. Oh, she's like it's deep and ooh. Oh no, that's angry. I don't want to draw that. She has to hold her head. And then here, see the umbrella. Uh, I'm just doing that this time. And maybe cut this out here. See, there's like some wind going on there, right? You see that? Okay, so practice all those shapes, mix them up with those shapes. I have on my website a free drawing course. You can go on that too and check out the warm up. You can also do this. With those shapes, mix it up and uh, draw stick figures with it, or houses, whatever you feel like. Yeah, that's it. And thank you so much for watching today. Um, see you soon with more stick figure action. Ethical environmental education. Teaching through the arts what matters most. Kindness and compassion for all living beings. You know that song? No? Well, Ivano.de. That's for you guys. There you go. Oops. Okay. Bye.